What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are working on a 21 Tremor and this customer has the pusher power flow intake and he just got the upgrade for the upper radiator hose. We're going to show you tonight how to put this on your 6.7 so you can get rid of this rubber hose. See you later. All right, everybody, thanks so much for coming back and checking this out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Another Pusher product on the channel. I will say, everybody at Pusher, the Pusher team, your packaging and quality of parts, the fitment on the factory applications are phenomenal. Um, when I first opened the box, this is the first impression that the consumer is gonna see. Everything was bubble wrapped cataloged by a piece of paper, somebody's initials, everything was checked off. This job, push your team, I can really appreciate that. Um, and as well as the community when they buy your parts. This has been uh, not one, not two, not three, eight, many of installs of pushers that we have put on and it has been going very well. All the customers and clients have been happy and this one has opted for the upper radiator hose. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is not work on a hot vehicle. I've gone ahead and loosened the cap, just going to let it sit there. I have opened up all of the parts. We have some really nice silicone hoses. We have some really nice pusher clamps and the meat and potatoes of them all is the upper radiator hose. And this is gonna be going on the truck like this. It's really gonna complement these charge pipes and that upper intake manifold. But the first thing that we're gonna need to do is obviously drain the coolant. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with how to do that on your 6.7, but, uh, but we are gonna be releasing on our website a tool, a PTT coolant socket that allows you to access your secondary and your primary radiator drains. And the newer version is gonna require you to have no tools. It's actually just gonna be a hand tool that you're not gonna need something else to get a hold of. All right, I've already gotten a drain pan. And what we're gonna do is go for, oh, we can't even see it on here. There it is right there. Can you guys see the radiator drain right there? What I have done is I've got this slurpy, long plastic slurpy straw that I put a hose in so that it would take the curl out because I don't need the hose to be curled and juice in my coolant somewhere else. So now that we have this, this one, this version, we gotta use a, a ratchet, but it's gonna sit on here, let me, twist it and then you'll see how it's gonna sit see if it'll hold on there itself right there so you see the swinging room you're gonna need imagine you not having to use a tool and you just get your hand up in there so we're gonna loosen this all the way and coolant is going to start draining now there we go coolant's draining now all right, so we're going to be draining just enough. We're not going to be loosening. Uh, we're not going to be draining the whole entire cooling system. We will drain just enough so the level gets down. And then once we get the coolant drain, we're going to take a little, little enough. We're not going to sleep. we got parts to put on. All right, one of the first things you're going to want to do is get the traveling PTT pick and pop this clip up. We are going to reuse this clip. Pops right up. And then we are going to, we're going to try to loosen this connection here by just doing this. You can see it's, you can see this is starting to separate. Gonna drain any coolant. Got any leaking out? Nope. All right, so that's good. Now we have the same style kind of clip 
but we have that down right there. So what I want you guys to do is kind of come underneath the hose like this and you can see my hand in the pick. We want to get in the middle of it and kind of pull it back. Let's see if I can try to do this simultaneously. And I don't think I'll be able to. Now let me try one more time. Okay, here's my pick. See if I can access the middle of it. Nope, I can't get it. And you might not be able to as well. So what I have done in the past to get these off is lift it up on the hose like this, and then you can see you can see the clip. You can like see the middle of it right here. Alright. Hold it, hold it out. And now we should be able to lift the hose up. Come on. Here it comes. Are we going to leak any coolant? Nope. Upper hose though. 21 upper hose off. We're not going to lose this one, but that one we will. All right, the next step is these three eight millis that are holding on the thermostat housing or the the upper the upper little housing that sits in because it sits in the crossover tube. So you guys are asking if this is going to need a thermostat gasket. Well, the thermostat on these trucks is the actual gasket. We'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, let's see if any coolant's gonna come out of here. Well, it would have juiced out, I feel, already. Okay, now these should come out. These back ones that I'm messing with go all the way through into the cylinder head have a rubber gasket they got to go through okay we're not leaking any coolant but we're at the halfway point so we need to take these bolts out because we are now going to be putting in this sweet piece all right we're going to put this new pusher piece in this is replacing the plastic upper housing of the thermostat Gonna go ahead and turn those down. is in now it's time for the rubber boots that pusher has so kindly given us but the 90 degree elbow this is gonna go on here like this we're just mock it up this is gonna go on here like this and then this one is gonna go like that and then we have this angle piece this is going to go on the coupler uh, onto, the actual, onto the actual radiator. So once we put that on the coupler, this will sit here like this. So, all right, all right what I think I'm going to do is just film this whole entire process and I will speed it up a little bit so you guys can check out what this is going to look like as you're putting it together.
All right, we are all mocked up. Clamps are still loose, but I wanted to kind of point out something that was kind of important. So this coupler here, look at the angle on which it sits. It doesn't sit to the left, it doesn't sit to the right. The angle is kind of facing up. And I want you guys to orient that pipe in a way that looks like this because it's not gonna be a straight on shot. The rubber coupler is not straight. It's got that, that curve to it. See how the pipe is sitting? That's what I want you guys to achieve when you're mocking this up. Don't tighten it down right off the rip. Mock it up, make sure your clamps and everything are good to go. And we're gonna tighten it like this. Okay, going for this clamp right here. All right, we'll tighten all these by hand, snug them up, and then that is going to be the final install of the upper hose. I mean, we're going to wipe it down so it looks nice and pretty, but so far, I like. Check it freaking out. It's on. It's tightened, and we're cleaning. At least this guy's favorite color is blue, because if it ain't blue, it ain't you. I like it. Oh, look what he did here. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Oh, I'm telling this blue's fading off. But check it out, man. This is the upper coolant hose retrofit for your 6.7 Power Stroke. This is gonna be through all models, 11 through current. What a compliment if you're already running the pusher intake system, a very nice upgrade from stock. I'm talking about throttle response. I'm talking about acceleration and ultimately this shit looks freaking sick. Let me know if you guys are running this setup. I know I've installed quite a few of them on you guys' trucks out there. This one with the latest install. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya. Big special shout out to Pusher. And if you guys are going to head to refill your Super Duty, make sure you get the right coolant. We're not using orange anymore. This is yellow pre-diluted. But look what color it looks like in the truck. Trust me, it's the right stuff, guys.